Hello, my name is Martyr, and this is the Indie Game of the Week Roundabout, and thank you for watching. Roundabout is... roundabout? Basically? Okay, fine. If I have to give the game a genre, uh, it's a chauffeur of death game. It's death simulator. Okay, fine. It's like a driving puzzle game in a weird way, guys. With full motion video caption videos. Uh, if you remember what those were, you were like old Can and Conquer style videos. And they'd have like those, those those little videos in between the missions. Those were FMVs, full motion videos. Um, and it just it has this game has like a '70s charm to it. It's just really weird, but it's awesome all at the same time. It released on Steam September 2014. It was developed and published by No Goblin. You can go ahead and get Roundabout on Steam for $14.99, and there is a deluxe edition for $19.99. There'll be links for all that good stuff in the description, as always, guys. Also, the uh, the, the the deluxe edition comes packed with like little extras and clips that they didn't use for the game. So if you're like a really big fan of the game, I would say it was probably it is probably worth it your time because it, the humor of this game does come from the full motion videos. It basically the clips that you get basically from moving from puzzle to puzzle. Now Roundabout is not a game for everybody, but I think everybody should play it. Um, in the game you play Giorgio Manos, by the way, great name. I wonder if that's a shout out to Manos Hands of Fate. I think it probably is. Given that this time frame of this game is around the same time. But yeah, you play Giorgio Manos who is a chauffeur who, as you can see, Spins a whole lot. I just lost a tire. Can I get that tire back on? That's okay. I need that. I can just go here and get repaired. So what is like the, the goal of this game? Well, it's a little bit of like a puzzle game. It's a little bit of a score attack game. It's a little bit of, you know, get the best time type of game. You have leaderboards, all that good kind of stuff. And it, it definitely has those people who are obsessed with with doing things perfectly in mind. So if you are a person that just needs to get every achievement, who needs to get a perfect score, or wants to be on the top of the leaderboard, you're gonna be playing this game a lot. Uh, so right now I'm in the middle of a town right here. Let me see if I can pause that and show that to you. That is the town map I'm in right now. Now this is just the first area. There's actually uh, another area, and we'll go to that area a little bit. But I just wanna show you this kind of starting area, because this is what I kind of gotten used to. and what I've learned from basically. So as you can see, your character is constantly spinning around here, guys. Uh, and you have to kind of dodge elements. Now, if you don't, for instance, let's say you ram into something. Or like an example. You explode and die horribly, and then you instantly respawn somewhere else. Uh, so the game doesn't necessarily have a focus on taking itself too seriously at all. I mean, Really, <laughs> the the people keep talking even when you're ramming into stuff and exploding horribly. I want to get up there. How, how do I get up there? Ugh. Okay, one more time. Yeah, we made it. All right. Uh, yes, as you can see, by the way, my car can jump. Just to let you know that the game doesn't take itself too seriously, by the way. Uh, yeah, basically, you're kind of escorting people around. You're earning cash, and you can take this cash and buy things. Um, and get power-ups, and by god, I almost exploded already. Uh, and you basically kind of pick up uh, these little things that you just saw there, which were kind of like power-ups, or, you know, they're, they're like chains, they're coins. And those kind of stack up together. They start, like, adding up as you do more things to get more points, and it gives you a better bonus. But if you bump into something like I just did, you lose it, which kind of sucks. Uh, and that's kind of the, the, the theme and the challenge of the game, is to get through all these obstacles without necessarily losing your multiplier. It's not necessarily, it's not easy. Uh, as a matter of fact, to be honest with you, I am balls terrible at the game. I am just terrible at the game. And there's just a lot of different kinds of elements in the game. You can, uh, there's puzzles and things like that. So let's go ahead and actually start checking some of those out. Uh, and then we'll start talking about the game more and more as we get through. There's also a little bit of a realty system in the game that allows you kind of GTA style to buy places. Uh, and then you can use those places to get cash eventually as they build up cash for you. So let's the name's Mickey. play this mission. Mickey the mechanic. I've never seen anyone drive like you just did at the DMV. Can you show me some more? I need a ride to my shop down the block. So that's just one example of the kind of uh, full motion videos that you'll see. And you do have like a little bit of a goal when you're doing these missions. This so for instance... Better from the 
inside. Uh, oh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm actually doing pretty freaking good here. Uh, getting a multiplier of like 13 could this, be a goal. This Not exploding, doing a mission fast enough, collecting all the coins, um, a lot of different things. Actually, pretty, wow, I did pretty good kid. there. Have you ever thought of going pro? And there is our silent, you, you know, character city, there, who doesn't ever say now. anything, Giorgio, um, you and who is played by an awesome uh, uh, gamer and YouTuber, by the way. Okay. Uh, I'll okay. probably put a link in the description to her page if you're curious weird. about checking that out. But kid, seriously, think about it. So yeah, the, the cutscenes are cheesy. They're over the top. They're absolutely ridiculous. When you complete a mission, you'll get a report card. For instance, I got 79%. I'm ranked 599 worldwide. I finished under 30 seconds. I did hit something. I didn't explode though. I collected every coin and didn't use an upgrade. Uh, which, you know, you do have powers in this game. Let's see if I can show you that. Actually, I can just go back here. i would probably show you that. So if we hit the button here, we can get access to this menu here and this horrific music. <laughs> horrific, I mean, horrific in an awesome way. So like, for instance, I can take turtle power. What does turtle power do? Well, turtle power like slows everything down. Or I could take uh, reverse, the reverse feel, which basically allows me to instantly change the direction that I was heading in. And that pretty much can be very helpful for you depending on which, well, <laughs> Not like that, I'll tell you that one for free. And there's a lot of powers you can unlock. Looks like there's about uh, six, seven, eight. Eight powers to unlock right here, guys. And it shows you how you collect them. So for instance, collect half all the cash, stashes to unlock this, run into 250 traffic cones, finish the game, and there's different kinds of powers that you can unlock. There's also, uh, I don't know where exactly it would be at. Okay, we'll go this way. There is also like a little bit of customization, customization in the game. Your limo doesn't naturally have a giant pumpkin on it. I'm doing that because, you know, it's October 1st. Uh, oh, it's up there. How do I get up there? Uh, there, there we go. There's also a little bit of customization in the game. You can buy hats for your car. All again with the in-game cash that you'll be earning from the missions, from your realty. Uh, and it just gives you a little bit of customization. You also have like these horns. Um, which you can just press on the you know, left bumper on and it'll do the horn. Uh, and those are hidden throughout the game. Matter of fact, I think we saw one a little earlier and I kind of ignored it. Uh, you also have paint shops that you can purchase for your limousine. As you can imagine, some of them are pretty 70s-tastic, as it were. Some of them are just kind of crazy also, like the invisible car here. Uh, the creamsicle. Some of them are really expensive, like solid gold. I think that gives you a pretty much good idea. Uh, the different kinds of paint jobs you can get. Some of them are just, he, he, just terrible looking. Oh. All of them, of course, have that sweet 70s style in mind, guys. So aside from the normal missions, you can also do uh, these challenges. I'm trying not to explode here. Let's see if I can get to one of the challenges without dying. Sure can't. That's okay, though, because it teleported me somewhere else. All right, so I got the, the blue stars on the bottom of the derp, you gosh, son of a bitch. Oh my God, really? Really? Just really? Just re really? Really? As you can see, I'm utterly terrible sometimes at driving around town here. Let's see if we can just get there. There's also a little bit like a speed up button. If you hit your top right button, you go a little bit faster. I'm gonna try to go this way without exploding. Oh god. Okay, but there's one near the baseball field. Stop hitting things! What are you drunk? Son of a bitch! All I wanna do is make it to that stupid challenge. Alright, there we go, we made it. Now let's just take the take coach ball challenge again. Giorgio, the school's demanding that I teach soccer now. Apparently this isn't America anymore. <laughs> You seem like someone who knows what soccer is. Can you show these kids how to bounce a soccer ball or whatever it is that you do in your sport? So yeah, basically you get like a little FMV video every time you go to one of the challenges or to one of the missions. This is one of the side activities. Again, just to add a little bit of more, uh, um, you know, fun and flavor to the game. Obviously I'm terrible at it though, but you do get cash for it. So we can keep doing it a couple times here. Uh, it doesn't help that I have a giant pumpkin on my car. Uh, and I can't see anything. Dang it! Can I jump up into the ball? That's a good question. 
I'm gonna jump right away. Oh, I can't. Oh, I, I missed it though. Okay, one more time. Bounce, bounce. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Where'd it go? Oh, I missed it. I totally missed it. And you can see basically the world record there's held 122 bounces. Damn. That guy had a lot of time to waste on playing the game. So, uh, control wise, it's very simplistic. It does feature controller support. You can play it with your keyboard, but I would suggest playing the game with your controller. It's just easier to control all the bumpers and the powers and the abilities in the game uh, with a controller than necessarily that would a. Uh, with a, uh, a keyboard. And like I said, there's a little bit of realty systems. For instance, I bought Quarter Toss Plaza here. I'm going to collect my money now, which is five bucks. Uh, and I'll come be able to come back to this later when this holds back up to 100%. As you can see, it's already at 2%. And collect more fat cash. So now that we've kind of checked out the first area here, let's see if I can get us to the uh, next area. Oh, God! Uh, oh, there's a horn there. Let's get that horn! What the... Oh my god, we're all the way back here? Why? Oh, well, there's... I gotta get I gotta get on top of the mall. Uh, there's like a super jump ability, I guess, maybe? I'm not sure. Alright, okay, well, you don't know, forget that. We're just gonna try to head to the uh, next part of the city here. Where is the... Exit for that. Okay, I'm really near it, so it's on the, it's the next left. Oh, there's a horn. <laughs> Boom, dead. There you go. So, yes, even just driving around normally can be a little bit of a tiny challenge. I will say that the jumping ability, dear God, does make that a little easier. And it's just one of those games that I would suggest probably just starting off playing slowly getting good at and then kind of perfecting your skill as you get deeper and deeper into the game. Uh, musically, of course, the game is just top notch. I think I fell through the bench there and exploded instantly. I'm pretty sure that's what just happened there. And this is the other area of the game. Like I said, there's multiple areas to the game. It looks like there'll probably be, I'm not sure how many areas there are total, but if those arrows are any indicator, uh, it looks like there's several areas to go through here. And that will lead you. It looks like you have plenty of game time here for you to chew on. So let's go ahead and do an, a mission that I was actually doing. Uh, and you can see that by kind of the glowing... Uh, the stars that are kind of popping out at me. Those are the missions that I need to do. Uh, the blue stars are just challenges. And you don't necessarily need to do any the challenges more than just the main storyline itself. So let's go... Let's explode, of course, naturally. That's what I, uh, I was aiming to. Why would I want to do anything else other than explode again? Whoa! <laughs> no! 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 God dang it! Son of a... Ugh! No! Son of a bitch! So yeah, there's a little bit of rage involved in this game. What is... No! Would you... Would you... Okay. Good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Watch where you're going. Okay. Now we're gonna go this way carefully. Okay, carefully. Kill, kill all the people, that's fine. Nobody likes them anyways. Oh my god, you better not send me back. Oh my god. Oh my god. Son of a bitch! Okay, we're going another way. We're gonna have to go south. Don't you explode! <sighs> oh, not why did you teleport me over here? What the hell? Uh, yeah. So the controls are, you know, it's not necessarily that the controls are bad. I don't want you to think that in any way I'm exploding because the controls don't work. It is my own ineptness, ineptitude. That is leading me to explode this many times. And also the fact I'm probably probably trying to rush this a little bit. Uh, and try to get there as fast as possible. Okay. Alright, alright. There we go. There we go. Alright. Yes. Beautiful. No. 
Ah, don't explode. Okay. Perfect. Oh, that's a wall, dumbass. You're gonna jump over that. Kiss my ass, red car. Alright. Made it to the next mission. Pick up Mickey the Mechanic. Wow, kid. That stunt you pulled at the triathlon is all over the news. <laughs> she never says a word. She never interacts with any of the characters. It's kind of hilarious. But I have something better than roads. Head to the closet. So as you can see, we acted on the mission here. I'm already already failed it. You can't hit start and just instantly retry something if you are aiming to be a perfectionist. It does rather reload rather quickly. Uh, and I'm exploding like a giant douchebag here. Alright, alright. And you know, sometimes the challenges. Thing. Statue? Whatever. Sometimes the challenges can be challenging. Uh, like, for instance, they may not want you to use the jump button. Finally, modern art has a use. Here's the trick boost and jump onto that other building. Ah, that's it, kid. Oh my god. Buildings? Who even needs roads anymore? Oh god! Oh god! No! <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. Yeah! Where am I supposed to go? Okay. Oh, I can't believe I made that. Okay. Oh my god. Kid, listen closely. Take no prisoners on this <laughs> Whatever you have to do, do it. Just focus off the road and use that twist of yours to get the upper hand. Yeah, there's Got one it. mission where you pick Finish up a skeleton. It's just a, it's a very strange, humor-filled game. Uh, 521, that, that's, a, that's not bad, right? Is this the way I have to go? Nope, that's death. All right, so we have to get to the next mission here. You can also see what realty is available, basically, like the green ones I bought, the, you know, clear white houses are the ones I need to purchase. Uh, the map is very, you know, very intuitive and does a good job of showing you where you need to go and all that good stuff here, guys. The game also does feature steamy goodness. Matter of fact, quite a bit of it. Steam achievements, steam cards, steam leaderboards, all that steamy stuff you could ever want. Son of a bitch! Why?! All I want to do is just get around. Roundabout suck. Oh my god. Okay. How do I get up there? Alright, where am I? Uh, I am there. There is a back road there. Oh good lord, that's far. Okay. Excuse me, people! I got shit to do. We're gonna go like this. Perfect! Nailed it! Couldn't have done any better. Oh my god. I don't want to be tied to this freaking building anymore. Please, game. Let me be tied to another building. I don't want to spawn there anymore. Okay. Okay, cool. Awesome. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god! Oh thank god! It teleported me up here. Alright. Now we can get to the next mission. Uh, and see what that's like. And you'll of course beat a whole cast of, you know, over the top characters. I'm trying, I'm trying to get over there so I can get a repair. That's what I was trying to do there. Uh, and you know, all of them come with their own crazy scenes. Here's Beth. Uh, the female lead of the game. Giorgio, can we go somewhere private to chat? Oh my. I know a place. Just follow my direction. <laughs> this place is super secluded. Just cut through the woods up here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright. Ow. Oh god. Oh my god. Ow! Oh, so close! Oh god. Okay, guys, smash these gates again. Okay. 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 Screw you, nature! Screw you! In the pooch! Oh my god! I just super jump across that. Beautiful. Alright. Uh, mountain. Mountain. Hey, so 
<laughs> I saw you in the paper. You looked super strung out. Like, you've been taking some serious, um... <sighs> what? What happened? You could cut the silence with a knife. Oh, there's the narrator. Who has one of the best voices George, in the game I just here. pull over here. Look, you... You mean a lot to me. But... I can't stop worrying that the next time I see you, you'll be in a very flat coffin. <laughs> what the hell? I, I just can't take that kind of stress every time you drive. Oh, she's breaking up with me. Beat Ronaldo, but beat him safely. Don't stoop to his level. Come home to me alive, okay? Oh, she's not breaking up. Okay, okay. All right. Well, I think that's where we're going to stop the game there, guys. Because, you know, the, the, the charm of the game is kind of playing it. The... The humor of it, just the kind of over the insane, over the topness of this entire game. Uh, there's also game modes that you can have access to, like big head mode, and it kind of plays with the rules a little bit. I think it's right here. Actually, if you return to the main menu here, we can check that out really quick. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a continue. It's extras. That's what it is. Extras, and it just gives you like a little bit of just extra, you know, fun and stupid way to play around with the game with. It really reminds me of Goldeneye, basically, the different things they added. So let's look at this subjectively, guys. Yes, the game is rather simplistic. Um, if when you strip away all the humor, and you know, after exploding the seventh millionth time, it's, it can be a little bit repetitive. But the humor, the charm of the game is what sells the game. It makes it such a great game, guys. Which is why I think it's it's a really fun game. It's just it doesn't take itself too seriously, and it's just simple, raw, stupid fun, and I like that sometimes. As far as you know, graphic options and all that kind of stuff goes, it's, uh, you know, nothing super impressive. It does allow you to mess with some frame rates and things like that. If you're into that kind of thing, their option for you is there. But to wrap up, guys, Roundabout is fun and charming and weird all in the same boat. It's obviously very challenging from a gameplay standpoint. If you're a perfectionist, you'll be playing this for quite a while. The humor is going to be hit or miss for you, period end. But I think this game is hilarious and doesn't take itself too seriously, like I said. But and now these days, we could use some of that in the gaming industry, guys, which is pretty, you know, rough these days. So, you know, relax, hang around with Giorgio, and laugh your ass off, guys. Life is too short. As far as bugs go, I didn't run into too many other than randomly exploding, but that could just be part of the game, for all I know. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. Obviously, the game has a ton of replay value, as you can aim to perfect your time and climb the leaderboards and get to the top, guys. I would recommend this to anybody who is, kind of enjoys this style of humor, because, like I said, that, that's the main driving force behind this game, guys. So, if you like what you see, go ahead and pick up the game, guys. Big thanks to the developer for a chance to check this game out. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and share, and I'll keep bringing you awesome games, guys. Until next time, play more indie games.